Alrighty, we're back on the bench with this uh, build, and um, let's have a let's have a look at uh, the electronics part of this now. Um, so this is going to be a Bluetooth receiver. Um, it's going to be a mono. So we're going to drive one. Um, we're going to drive one speaker with this. And uh, the Bluetooth receiver I'm going to be using is this KR6 or sorry KRC86B Bluetooth board. Um, power comes in here through this capacitor. We have a little um, indicator light that lets us know when things are paired. And I don't want that showing on the outside of the um, the box, so I just put this in here so that when I'm troubleshooting the board I can tell whether or not I have a signal and whether or not uh, the board is paired. Moving on to the outside, these are the auxiliary input uh, to the um, to the Bluetooth board and uh, the, these wires will be hooked up to the front panel of the multimeter just like we talked about last time. This is the output section. Um, so what I have is I have a series of, or I have a, a set of mixing resistors here that'll take the, um, the stereo signal coming out of this Bluetooth board, mix it to mono, and then I can shuttle that over here to the amplifier board. So the amplifier I decided to use on this is a board based on a TPA3318 chip. It's a um, it's a mono board. This thing is capable of, I believe, up to 50 watts. Um, I believe at 18 volts. So we're we're going to be driving this amplifier, um, this amplifier board at 12 volts. So we're going to get considerably less power than that. Uh, probably going to be just under 10 10 watts. Um, so on this board, we have the input signal from the Bluetooth board coming into here. We have our 12 volt power coming in here. And we have our output to our single speaker coming out over here. All right. Now let's talk about a little bit about, about power for this board, um, or for this set of boards here. This amplifier runs off of 12 volts DC. The Bluetooth board runs off of 5 volts DC. So what I have to do is I have to convert the 12 volts DC that I need for the amplifier board, step it down, and then put it onto put that 5 volts onto this Bluetooth board. And there's a couple ways of doing that. Um, One way is to use a, um, a little boost converter. So this boost converter will take 12 volts and step it down to 5 volts DC. All right. The problem with using these boost converters is that uh, it can create a ground loop so that you get the buzzing and clicking um, problems that you have when you try to hook up a Bluetooth speaker and an amplifier on a common um, power supply. So again, I've gone and used um, my standby for this, which is the uh, Murata isolated DC to DC converter here. Um, and so what I do is I have 12 volts coming into here, 12 volts also feeding into here. So I have the 12 volts coming into the amplifier, 12 volts going into this Murata DC to DC isolation converter. And then outside, out of this comes five volts, a clean, pure, ground loopless five volts that I now use to power the Bluetooth board. All right, I guess the only other thing I need to really show you on here um, is that we have the input or the output from the Bluetooth board coming into the potentiometer and then the uh, potentiometer will regulate the, the strength of the signal going to the amplifier. So this is our volume control. So let me go ahead and turn this on and uh, show you that everything's working.
All right, so here you see we have the power indicator for the amplifier board. Here we have the Bluetooth um, indicator. With this particular board, when it's paired, I've got it paired up to my phone right now, it'll be a solid blue. Uh, if we go ahead and unpair it, you'll see that the blue light will start flashing, which will mean it's looking to be paired. Pair it back up again. And the light turns solid. Okay, so we're paired to the phone. All right, I've got my standard ubiquitous royalty-free classical music and uh, let's see what this sounds like. Okay, volume control is working. Everything seems to be working well here. So again, to review, I've got uh, the music source in this case is uh, my phone sending out a Bluetooth signal to the Bluetooth receiver here, um, which I'm taking the stereo signal from the Bluetooth receiver, mixing it through this resistor network into a mono signal that's going down to the potentiometer, which is our volume control, up here into the amplifier. Um, and then out to the speakers. All right, so on the next video, uh, we will um, put the speaker into the box. We'll put this amplifier board into the box and uh, we'll continue the work on this, on this Bluetooth project. All right, uh, so as always, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time.